Hey, what's happening YouTube? It's Darren here from Pebcac, back with another video. This time responding to a question by Death Donald from, on the uh, Reddit tech support subreddit. Uh, he asked earlier today, saying his Ethernet doesn't have valid IP configuration. Basically, every time he switches on his computer, he has to run the network troubleshooter uh, before he can get actu an actual connection to his network or to the internet. I did ask a couple of questions, I got a bit into a bit of info, got into post a bit of troubleshooting so I could work out what this is. So this video is to run over what those troubleshooting steps were for anyone else watching the video, but also hopefully to help uh, Donald fix his issue. So the first steps I got Donald to do was, on his PC, was to basically find out what the IP address was before and after he did his troubleshooting steps in Windows. To do that, click on the start button down at the bottom, type CMD or command prompt and press enter and you're going to type ipconfig slash all. Sorry, you're going to spell it right first. ipconfig slash all. A -W -L. This is going to spew back a whole load of information. You can ignore the most of it. The bits we're looking for are IPv4 address, and DHCP enabled. DHCP enabled essentially means that you have not set a fixed address on your machine. It is going to the router or your modem and it's grabbing an address, the next available address, and giving that to your PC. In Donald's case, he was getting given a dot one six nine dot something dot something address. So one six nine dot X dot X dot X, whatever those last numbers might be. Um, if you see that, if you do an IP config and you get a 169, that's basically what's called an auto configuration address. It's Windows way of saying, I haven't been given an address, so I'm just going to throw a fake one in there just to fill the space. You won't get anywhere with it if you've got a 169 address. You won't be able to talk to other devices on your network. You won't be able to get to the internet. So what Donald was doing is then running the Windows troubleshooter. This was then resolving his issue and getting his IP address back. You could... Instead of running the IP troubleshooter, if you want, uh, sorry, the network troubleshooter, you could instead do IP config slash renew. As soon as I get my fingers working. And that'll do the same thing. It'll basically go to your router and ask for a brand new address. If that doesn't work immediately, you can do IP config release first, and that'll release, but you have to run command prompt as administrator. So right click on it, choose run as administrator. Yes ipconfig slash release and then you can see ipconfig ipconfig I will get used to this new keyboard now I've got no addresses at all and then I can do ipconfig renew so I'm releasing it basically saying to the router I don't need it anymore and then I'm asking the router for a new address it'll probably give me the same one the dot .27 I had before or 21 as it was because that's a free address that's the next available free address on my network now, in order for Donald to fix his issue, because obviously we found out what's happening, he's not getting given address, and then when he does his troubleshoot, he does get given address. This is what I recommend you do, Donald. So, I would recommend you type N-E-T-S-H or NETSH, and then I-N-T, I-P, reset, and then C colon reset dot log. What this is going to do, this is going to reset your computer's IP settings entirely. So it's going to forget any misconfigurations you've got, anything you've got that you might have tinkered with, clicked on, pressed, or done accidentally or on purpose, and put it all back to default. It's what they call resetting your TCP IP stack. Once you've done that, press enter, and it'll tell you to restart the computer to uh, finish complete this action. Now, I'm not going to bother doing that. This is just a virtual machine. But you give it a restart, come back on, see if you get an IP address, see if you can get on the network without having it do that, uh, without having it do the troubleshooting, sorry. If that doesn't work, Donald, the next thing you're going to need to do is run your troubleshooting to get your IP address again. Run your IP kit config, and this time you're going to look for your default gateway, which is this address. You need to copy that or make a note of it. Go to your computer's web browser and type it in there. What this should do, and it's not the case in all events, so bear with me if it doesn't work, is take you to your router login page. 
and you're going to need to log in there now if you don't know the password for this it's usually on a sticker or a little card on the back here where it is here in the uk anyway with most internet providers but look for an admin password not your wireless password people do get their conf they're confused but you're looking for your admin password i know what mine is because i set it myself you're going to log into your router and unfortunately i can't tell you what it is on your router well i can if you tell me to make a model of the router but it's you're looking for something that says lan uh general setup you're looking for something that gives you your ip ranges the best thing i can suggest you try is if yours allows it change the ip range potentially or if yours has any diagnostics look for something like a dhcp table um see if it gives you any options for clearing out any stuck records uh give your router a restart that might be i know you're not having the issue on any other devices just be aware if you do change any of your ip settings as in your lan ip so in my instance this is going to start giving out addresses from dot 10 and give them all out all the way up to 210 i could change that for example and only give them out from dot 50 but i don't want to do that because i don't want to restart my and it would wouldn't give any address before 50 so just be aware if you do change this it will affect other things on your network if they've got addresses you'll need to restart everything on your network give that a go donald see if it helps hopefully it does if it does please give me a thumbs up or consider subscribing it really does help and i appreciate it to anyone else watching this video if you fancy the chance of having your it issue remotely diagnosed and resolved free of charge we're always looking out for interesting cases where i will offer a free remote support session all recorded for your security and then we'll turn it into a youtube video for the channel Thanks a lot. Consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.